The Westboro Baptist Church of Topeka, Kansas is notorious for its fundamentalist ways. You may have seen church members picketing at funerals holding up anti-gay messages. And now a former member is giving us an eye-opening look inside Westboro Baptist. Lauren Drain was banished from the church and her family more than five years ago. She's now written a memoir called Banished and she joins us now. Lauren, good morning. Nice to see you. Good Thank morning. you for being with us. Thanks for having me. You were 14 years old when your family joined this church. Did you have any idea at the time just how controversial it was? No, not really. I mean, I knew what the signs said, but um, at the time, I was really seeking my father's approval. You know, um, he had he kind of cut me off from my friends, my family. Um, he took me out of school. He was really kind of controlling me at the time and telling me he wanted to raise me Christian now. He wanted to raise me as a good daughter. And um, when he brought, brought up the Westboro Baptist, you know, um, at that time, I finally was making friends um, with the girls in the church and such. So I think I wasn't really aware or fully aware of the hurt and harm that was being caused by the protests. Well, you, went, you went out on some of these protests. Yes. How did it feel when you went on those? You know, they, they taught us that the more we're hated and the more people fought against our message, the more right we were. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like a justifying feeling. You know, they were told us that we will be hated. And that's a Christian-like concept to be hated. They, they kind of taught us the whole... That it was a good thing. That it was a good thing. That, you know, they kind of wanted us to play the martyr card. You know, that we were so persecuted and, and nobody understood us. They just misunderstood the message. And um, it really kept me in that mindset because I was kind of like, oh, wow, this is validating what I yeah. believe, what I'm being taught. So... So what was the turning point? What made you begin to question the church's doctrine? Um, it wasn't until after a few years of being there. You know, I hadn't really been exposed to the Bible or any line of really religion or Christianity. And um, I started studying things on my own, and I looked at verses, and I was like, these verses do not match up with some of the things that we're doing. So you actually, you're saying you're learning about religion, but you had not, in the Westboro Baptist Church, even looked at a Bible. No, um, we looked at a Bible daily. I'm saying, like, I was taught what certain verses meant, and. you know, and after I started reading on my own and kind of like being like, okay, I don't think this is what this means. I don't think that okay. they had the whole message right. And, and when you started asking questions, how were you treated? Um, they were really mad. They would say, you know, you're divisive, you're causing conflict in the church, you're, you're being evil, you're bringing in a false doctrine, you know, lots of like castigating comments. And um, I knew right away that that wasn't accepted and uh, eventually led to my banishment. How did that work? What did they say to you? You haven't seen your family now, as I understand it, for five years as a result. Yeah, so they kicked me out of the church. They also kicked me out of my family, out of my home. Um, I haven't seen my family in five years. Um, I have three younger siblings that I haven't seen who I miss terribly. Have you tried to get in, you've tried to get in touch with them? Yeah, I've tried calling my mother and father a couple times to no avail. And, um, you know, my little siblings are still stuck there in that mentality. And I feel sorry for them because they have no other access to any form of uh, truth or any form of knowledge regarding the Bible or good people or good life or anything else. When you were banished, uh, I understand they dropped you off. You're still young, and they took you somewhere and just left you. Yeah, my father, that, it's funny, because they usually hold, like, proceedings for people that are getting kicked out, um, and I wasn't even present. I wasn't, I didn't even know what I was accused of. I got dropped off at a hotel and told that I have three days to find my own place, that, I, you know, I'm a bad influence on the children. They don't like when you ask questions. They don't like when you question their line of thinking. And because um, did, did they give you money or anything to go off like this on your own? They paid for my three night stay at a hotel, yeah. and um, that's pretty much the last that they offered me. And they said they would never see you again. Right, no contact whatsoever, and right. started plaguing my siblings' minds that I'm an evil, evil sister, and I was being an evil daughter, and um, that kind of thing. Lauren Drain, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.